peace and greetings everyone welcome to october's soul psychic collective reading i am miss blue the soulful oracle and i want to welcome you on into this planet remix special energy edition so we're going to be talking about the month of october And I want to give you some things that you can begin to work with in the month of October so that you can maximize your opportunities for tapping into more wealth, more abundance, and also really just finding a sense of balance, because that certainly is going to be needed uh, going forward. First, I just want to tell you this, in the month of October, my goodness, oh my goodness, it is so much psychic energy that is being downloaded onto the planet at this time. And I know you can feel yourself taking this energy in. So the first thing that I want you to do is to make sure that every morning when you're getting up, that you have a ritual, that you have some sort of ceremony. It could be you going into prayer or meditation or maybe just getting your favorite beverage and sitting in silence and just taking an opportunity to check in with your higher self, God, the universe, the divine, whatever you choose to call it. Because this is where you're going to find hmm, your place of harmony and your peace. Not to mention, you're going to be getting so many revelations. And I just want to tell you this. I don't want to kind of make too many predictions here because, of course, we know free will is there. But I can promise you this. If you stay open, if you stay committed to being true to you and being in your highest vibration, you are going to receive some information in this month, the month of October, that is going to be life changing. Now, I know that's a big statement, but I promise you that will happen. And it's going to be some life-changing information that is definitely going to allow your spirit to just soar. Now, this is a month, this month of October, that it's really time. It's time for you to make sure that you are turning your lens inward and that you are really focused on number one, loving yourself, number two, making sure that you're taking care of your needs, your emotional needs, your physical needs, and your mental needs. It's going to be so important for this month because in the cosmic sky and in the cosmic streets, it's going to be a lot going on, a whole lot of things going on. And if we look at this from a uh, astrology point of view, we are getting ready to move into eclipse season. And that is going to be happening this month. Now, even though that's going to be different for each and every single one of us, depending on the work that we came to the planet to do, and depending on the work that we have done, Here's something I want you to take with you into this eclipse season. Number one, first thing, and do this as soon as you hear this, as soon as you're done listening to this, let this be the first thing that you do. And that is you're going to have to turn away from your past. I know we talk about the past a lot, but you're going to have to just leave the past in the past. And let me tell you exactly what I mean by that. Of course, all of the lessons and all of the things you've learned, you have them with you. But I want this to be a final reminder for 2023 to leave the past behind you. This is truly an opportunity for you to start fresh again. And how do we love so much of a fresh start? You're going to get that opportunity yet again. And it's going to be a lot of things that come up for you, particularly when it's in relationships. And some of you may have relationships that 
are ending, but remember every ending is an opportunity to step into a new beginning. Eclipse season is here and eclipse season is all about somewhere, somewhere along the way. Maybe you made a wrong turn and this is how your higher self is self-correcting you along with the universe. We are co-creators along with God and the divine and this is the energy that wants nothing but the absolute best for you. So I want you to go with the flow. I also want you to make sure that you are being very present, present in all of your relationships. That's intimate relationships, that's friendships with your neighbors. This could be business relationships. It doesn't matter what it is. Make sure that you are very present because the things that are being revealed to you at this time, these are all signs and symbols of really letting you know where you belong and what is next for you. Now, truth be told, this is not an easy time or it can be um, somewhat of a challenging time for some of us, but I want you to stay in love because love is not only the place that's going to bring you the nurturing you need and help you connect to your psychic abilities and stay in tune with your guides and ancestors and higher vibrational beings and things that you need to know. But love is also your source of protection for you. And so you may see a lot of things happening on the outside with other people around you. Remember, everybody is dealing with themselves. They're dealing with the world and they're dealing with what they're being confronted with and even things that they have created in the past or even a past life. And none of us is excused from that. But what we do have the power to do is how we respond. And so this is an emotional charge month. I want you to visualize just if you were to go outside and imagine a sky filled with stars. And I want you to just imagine a night sky that is lit up with stars twinkling everywhere. And now I want you to imagine all of those stars sort of shooting off in every direction. This is what the energy looked like when I did a soul collective read for the energy on the planet. We have all of these emotions that are happening all around us. And I want you to get a hold of this very early because that emotion that you have that is charging you up, it could be making you angry, it could be making you frustrated, it could be making you feel sad or whatever those emotions are. It is powerful energy that you can actually transmute and put it into something creative, something beautiful, and something magnificent. You can take this energy and put it into something that you're working on that is so life-changing for yourself and everything that you've created thus far. So keep that in mind. Before you become reactive, take a step back and remind yourself of the commitments that you've made to yourself in the past. I'm not going to stay on here too long, but I wanted to put that message out there just to let you know that there is a lot of energy that's going on and you're going to see a lot of out of control behavior. And this emotion may even show up on planet Earth as floods and tsunamis and thunderstorms and all kinds of things happening. But remember, remember that nature and ourselves work together in a very, very celestial and a very physical dance. And our emotion is that magnetic pulse that intensifies all of the elements that are inside of us, as well as those floating in the cosmos and those that are here on planet Earth. And so this is a great time that when you feel that extra stress or that tension, 
here some of the things that you can begin to do. You can certainly sit down and you can journal your thoughts. I think that's a great way to really just kind of be able to allow those emotions not to become stuck in your body or stuck in your mind, but you can write those emotions out. The other thing that you can do is maybe you can do something physical, like October is a perfect month for feng shui. And when I talk about feng shui, I'm not just talking about clearing and organizing and your space and getting rid of the clutter or redecorating your home. I'm talking about feng shui your whole entire life. We've got to get in there and learn how to feng shui some of these outdated beliefs that we're holding on to, some of these outdated emotions that we have allowed our minds to run away with. We have got to feng shui our finances, feng shui our email boxes, and feng shui, you know, the things in our car, and even feng shui some of the things that we do on social media from time to time. Maybe it's time that you do some feng shui on social media as well. This entire month and pretty much the bulk of it is going to be about you. It's going to be about not who you were 10 years ago, 5 years ago, or even in 2024, but who you are today in 2023. And what does that mean for you? And where are those core values that are inside of you at this time? You see, here's something that probably no one is talking about, but the month of October is a month of a major awakening. And I know we use that word all the time, but there's a major awakening going on. And I'm not just talking about some of you who are just waking up. Uh, to your higher self or realizing that you are more than your physical body. I'm talking about if you've been on your spiritual path five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. This is a major awakening opportunity for all of us here to tap into this energy. See, let us not forget that 99% of who you are is untouchable. And I want to say that again, 99% of who you are is untouchable. So the parts of you that make you wonderful, that make you powerful, that make you creative, that make you so beautiful, that is untouchable. We can't see it. We can't touch it. We can't smell it. We cannot connect with it physically. 99% of you is untouchable. And this is something that our ancestors coming out of ancient Egypt, they understood this and they knew 99% of who you are is untouchable. It is what is called your unconscious awareness. That is enlightenment. And so the month of October is all about the awakening. It's about this moment of being enlightened. It's about enlightenment. That's what it is. And what is really, when we talk about enlightenment, what is it? Enlightenment is when you come back to your authentic self. So I want you to be paying attention to signs and symbols and clues and even those psychic impressions that are coming in from you, coming into you. And so you may find that some of the favorite things that you love eating, you no longer have a taste for, as well as some of the activities that you enjoy doing, you no longer want to do that. See, right now we're all sort of recalibrating ourselves and we are coming back into that state of awakening, that state of enlightenment. We are coming back to our authentic selves and you won't be able to fake it. You won't be able to force it, but you will be able to get on the path of what your soul truly desires to experience at this time. Now, no, 
that this month, even though it is a 10 month, it is a universal month of eight. And this is all about the vibes of limitless, limitless opportunities, limitless. It's also that energy of achievement. So this is about aligning your heart and your mind and knowing that you can achieve those things. But you have to hold the faith and you definitely have to stay present, you know? So this month being a universal month of eight, and eight is the sign of infinity. This is also about taking a leap of faith because in order for you to trust yourself and to trust the divine and to know that you are coming into this state of awakening and you are coming into this point of enlightenment and you are coming back to your true authentic self, Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. I'm so excited for each and every single one of you. And I cannot wait to hear in the comments some of the things that you're picking up, that you're feeling, that you know you are about to step in. Your authentic self, the beautiful, divine, powerful spiritual being that you are. Now, I want to give you two crystals that you can begin to work with this month that really can help you to amplify not only your communication with your higher self, your angels, your guides, and your ancestors, uh, and the universe, but um, it's also going to help you stay grounded and really help you sort of navigate some of this electrifying psychic energy and all of this emotional flow that's going to be moving through the planet at this time. So the first crystal I want to tell you to work with is going to be the topaz. And oh my goodness, I love topaz. And the topaz you want to begin to start working with is the yellow topaz. And let me tell you about this topaz energy. It is all about inspiration. And inspiration is when the spirit is simply in movement. Inspired actions come from inspiration because it is coming straight from your higher self. So the other thing that Topaz is excellent for helping you to tap in and harness the energy to embody is self-realization, self-realization and tranquility. So you're going to be working with this energy, this very joyful energy of Topaz, because what Topaz energy does is because of the frequency and how we work with crystals. We work with crystals through a process called entrainment, where our energy and the frequency that the crystal is vibrating at, which is based on the properties inside the collective consciousness, yes, inside of the crystals, gets really release and the crystal's aura begins to vibrate with your aura and your energy. And what happens is when you set an intention to work with your crystal, then your energy will level itself to the frequency in the crystal. And this is why you can go into every sacred book, every religious or spiritual book on the planet, and you will see that crystals are mentioned there and used in some powerful ways. So you're going to be working with the topaz because the topaz helps to zap out, it helps to blast any negative energy. These are negative particles and these are things of really sort of putting yourself down or really falling into victimhood or diving deep back into your dark past. You know, these are things that 
This frequency will help you to move out of your psyche, move out of your body, and move out of your energy field so that you can release this block so you can get the flow of abundance in your life going and dissolve these obstacles that are coming up and help to put you in a very calm and a very relaxing state of being. And so, working with the Topaz energy is amazing. If you got mantras, if you have Bible verses, or if you have um, some statements that you want, begin to start working with the Topaz. It's going to help you. You can hold it in your hand, doing meditations, get you a very small um, river crystal size of the topaz. Place it in your belly button. Sisters, you can drop it in your bra. Brothers, you can put it in your sock and just keep it close to your body. And it's really going to encourage spiritual development and emotional growth here. And also, topaz is excellent for clarity and helping you not only be clear, but also to give clarity in your expression or receiving ex um, information from others. Yeah. And it will help you to tap in to your creative energy. So the Telpez is going to be one of those crystals I would recommend you work with. The other one, this is one of my absolute favorite smoky quartz to get you a smoky quartz crystal because it is so grounding. It is so grounding. It is so cleansing. It is so healing. And it works with both the physical and the ethereal, the etheric bodies, your energetic body. So it works with the physical and the energetic bodies that you have. And it's wonderful for cleansing your aura. You can take this smoky quartz and you can place it on your third eye. And this is not only going to help you when you're having a physical headache, which a physical headache almost always is about not listening, not listening to your intuition. But this can also help you when you want to focus and it's going to help you when you need to stay focused and it's also going to help you stay grounded but also help you to stay open. Smoky Quartz is amazing. You can keep it on your person, meditate with it as well. It's excellent for helping you to get answers, solution and working there. And if you're carrying anything heavy in your heart or any kind of emotion or any kind of psychic baggage, maybe something happened at work or maybe you had a conversation with a friend or a business partner or something that sort of rubbed you the wrong way and you just can't let go of it, the Smoky Quartz is excellent for you to begin to start working with that and work with the Smoky Quartz. This also helps you in the dream state. So before you go to sleep at night, you can take the smoky cord and pop it inside your pillowcase. And it's really going to help you with your dreams. But the smoky cord is also excellent when you want to release unconscious patterns. So if you're journaling, if you're writing out your to-do list for the day, or you're doing any kind of work, you can take this smoky quartz and actually put it on the paper right in front of you as you're writing in your journal or as you're typing on your phone, you can put it in front of you and it's going to help you, like I said, stay focused, but it's also going to help you tap into your higher consciousness a lot easier because what the smoky quartz is going to do, it's going to form a barrier. And in that barrier, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be pushing back all distracting energy, all negative energy. And whether that is something coming from you or coming from the environment. See, we're all like Wi-Fi. And just like so much information gets transferred through Wi-Fi, it's not that the information is good or bad, but sometimes we can have overload of the EMFs and, and just this 
psychic um, electric energy floating in the atmosphere. Well, that's the same way thoughts work. And the smoky quartz can help you to fill a space and just kind of open it up so that you do not have any interference other than what you have set your intentions for. So I want you to work with these two crystals, the Smoky Quartz Crystal and the Topaz. Let me know out of the two, which one is your favorite. And if you like working with them both, I want you to try working with them in the month of October. So let me know how you plan on working with it. And also come back and let me know how that worked for you. So a lot of things going on in this month. It's a month filled with beautiful abundance. It's the month that we get to discover another layer of who we are and also what we are here to do, like our higher purpose and our higher meaning. And so for some of us, that is going to allow us an opportunity to really course correct ourselves and recalibrate and maybe go on a totally different path. And for others, it's going to take us on the same path that we're going, but we're just going to elevate ourselves even more. So I think that's going to do it for me. I am sending you all love. This Soul Psychic Collective reading for all universal beings on the planet. Remember, love is going to be your greatest tool for not only protection, but also transformation. So I am Miss Blue, the Soulful Oracle. I'm going to sign off. I look forward to us continuing this conversation during the month of October in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget to dive into the archives. So I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Peace and love, soul family. I love you so much. Enjoy this hmm, electrifying, very illuminating, transforming month of October. Peace and love.